guys, this is Bane Rain here, bringing you a quarterfinalist interview, this time with Tom, a.k.a. Clifton Gasm. So, uh... Oh, what's up, guys? Damn you! So, sorry, not man, I'm sorry. I get, I get, I get shit myself sometimes. Um, <laughs> so, so, Tom, how, how are you, how are you, uh, I know you personally a lot, but, you know, um, other people there might not, so, uh, how about a little background, you know, just... Other, other, do you mean other people here on, on my channel? Oh, no. Yeah. So anyway, my background. Okay. So obviously, uh, I'm from I'm from England. If you couldn't tell, like, come on, the accent is evident enough, and the fact that I say pounds instead of dollars. Um, I. Uh, what else? What do you What do you want me to tell you, Dane? Uh, Anything else? Yeah. Well, uh, you know, uh, when do, when do you start competitive Pokemon battling? Just start. I I started competitive battling fourth gen uh, around the release of Hot Gold Soul Silver. That's cool. That's cool. I started, and then I kind of just stopped around the release of Black and White in Japan, and I I stopped fourth gen completely because I just thought everybody else can play in fifth gen. I don't really want to play fifth gen. Then around this what was just before December I think yeah. before Christmas. Yeah. I started doing some PO stuff, and really, I had to work back because I still had a fourth gen line. It was pretty much yeah. building fourth gen yeah. teams, but using fifth gen tiers. So yeah, just new Wi-Fi clause and stuff like yeah, yeah. yeah adjust, adjust to fit a different meta game. That's cool. That shows us that you're a fairly adaptable tra player because you know you're one hell of a an OU player and pretty good at some other tiers. Except you, you suck at UU. No offense. Um, yeah, I do. I suck serious balls. I got six owed by Croak, and it wasn't even a struggle. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so so how, how are you liking the meta game so far? Oh, you well, oh you meta game. I'm gonna oh, focus yeah. on because obviously, oh you and you and it, Ubers and my like that's what I consider my standard stuff. But oh you, I'm liking the new idea of complex bands this gen. Yeah. I think Where I think last year they were, yeah, last year they just banned a poke. Now they ban. Like Swift Swim Drizzle on the same team, mm -hmm. stuff like that's really I enjoy this cotton more so. They're thinking deeper into it basically, and I like that. Okay. They're not being so shallow about it. Right. Okay, that's good. Um, how about uh, PU? I know it's kind of uh, kind of out of the blue, but how? What are your thoughts on that? You are hoping for it to be a PU? What do I think of PU? Um, I'd like the idea. I like the idea because we did a thing, didn't we? Where we went and got the least used NU pokes and made teams out of them. Yeah. So you know, yeah, and I, then te I think teams worked quite well, if I'm honest. <laughs> like I beat yeah. I beat Rick yeah. with my <laughs> I beat Rick like... with a Fire Gem Combuskin and a Nivialite Ivysaur. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. I got in it. And now there's a whole tier for people to do derpy stuff like this. Like the stuff that you aren't ever gonna see is now gonna get seen. I like it. Yeah, I, I share your opinion. Um, I just think that maybe they should they should be do more of an in-depth review of what should be in the tier and what shouldn't be. They shouldn't base it solely on usage, because uh, you know you look at things yeah. like regice, you know things that work very well in standard NU, but just aren't don't have that much usage because everyone's sort of running the cookie cutter teams with uh, you know a ninjask or. Uh, Charizard, more recently, Ludicolo, things like that. Yeah, um, definitely. Okay. So uh, let's move on. Uh, time to do some fanboying. If you could battle any big YouTuber, who would it be? Uh, this, is a, this is a tricky one, because there's actually... I've thought about this. There's actually two that I'd really like to battle. Yeah. Like, I think heads and shoulders over everybody else, it would probably be MBZ. Yeah. That might just that might just me be me going for the English guy. Yeah. Or, 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 I mean, Scottish, but that might just be me going for the local for the local guy. Yeah. But I think I would like to battle Xenon as well, actually. Yeah, he's a pretty cool guy. He gave you a shout out after. Just... Yeah. <laughs> he's already given me one. I've already got one from him. <laughs> albeit, albeit it was albeit it was stealing off of Kate's shout out, yeah, but it still counts. Count. I count it. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of snuck in. Okay. Um, so so yeah. Um, so now you know you got a, you guys have a bit of a background on Tom and what he does and 
you know, just uh, general things like that. Um, so, uh, so uh, regarding the actual P PFC uh, OU tournament, you are the the creator of that alongside uh, Raven, uh, Saint Raven. Uh, what's his, what's his username? Okay, so I'll just put it in the description. Saint Raven something something. Saint Raven ninety three. Ninety three. That's it. So uh, you know, you two work pretty hard on this, and it's it's. Uh, how do you think it's turning out so far? Uh, happy with the results. I I'm happy with the fact that there were I think four people that were stand out in the tournament to start with. Yeah. Right. The four like I'm not gonna name any names, all right. There were four people that stood out people were looking at. Yeah, people that, that stood out to be in with a chance of winning it and two of those people have already been knocked out. Yeah, so sort of an underdog victory there. I know what you mean. Yeah, like there's I think at the moment there's two very sides to the la two very different sides to the ladder. The one side is full of either, you know, dark horses or underdogs, and then there's the other side that's full of the people that um, seem to have more knowledge of the tiers. Okay. But then again, the people that have more knowledge could, you know, overestimate themselves or underestimate the people they're battling, stuff like this right. can happen. Okay. And uh, any any favorites for you? For For... Who do you think, uh, other than win. yourself, if you don't win, who do you think would win in the PFC tournament? If, if, if I don't win, who do I think would win? Um, initially it was SPS, but now I'm probably going to, I'm going to go with Bayo now. Yeah, he's a, he's a pretty impressive I think player. Bayo's probably got the best chance of winning. Yeah. As of, as of, he's very good. Yeah, I, I also like that he, he doesn't, he doesn't, you know, rely solely on, cook, you know, cookie cutter uh, metagame stuff, you know, I, I saw him in the, the World Cup, and in a few other battles, he was using like, this weird hail team or something. Uh, yeah, and it worked quite well. So, uh, you know, props to him for that. Uh, well, of course, we're going to talk to him more in a different. Uh, he brings a, a different, different one of the interviews. Um, yeah. So, Tom, how did you how did you how do you think the last matches went? Uh, round two. Okay. Well, my round two match. Um, well, technically. Technically, it's a six-zero, but technically, the other guy pulled out. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I, it, I don't count it as a as a win. I kind of just got a buy, you know. Well, I didn't kind of just get a buy. I got a buy. On both on both of the rounds. No, no, first round. I I battled first round. I was against Show's Pokemon. First Show's round. Pokemon. Okay, and how did it go? What team um, were you against? I can't remember his team exactly. It was. It was a team that was kind of built around Glacial Cataclysm. Okay, so anti-meta game. Yeah, it was a very anti-meta game team, and I was using my, um, what I like to call my anti-AJ team. Oh, I think I saw that one. Is that the one yeah. with the Scarf Toxicroak? That's the one with the Scarf Toxicroak, yeah. And the Stop Punching Conkelder. Which, you did beat that team. AJ beat that team. It's called the anti-AJ team, but he beat it, but it's, like, designed around one of his OU teams, like, the only OU team that he ever used for yeah. about two months. It was designed around that one team, and then he changed his team. <laughs> so, <laughs> it, was, it was pretty pointless to, to like, use it against him, because, fun, like, fun, fun. Yeah. Most, most things counter that team. But, no, the choice, the choice scarf Toxic Rogue actually did work. It drain-punched... Uh, I think it drain punched like a Terrakion for the kill. Yeah, that's, that's actually cool. Uh, lucky for you, the Terrakion wasn't sc scarfed, or was it? Um, I think like he switched in thinking, oh, I'll like thinking I'm just gonna go for a Sucker Punch because there was a Latios in. I predicted him to make the switch into Terrakion and just drain punched. Okay, so that's a nice little play there. Um, are, are we gonna put all the replays up on the PFC or not? Um, we will be putting, as far as I know, we will be putting the quarterfinal replays will be up on the PC, P, blah, 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 the PFC, narrated either by the the guy that won the battle, or the or a director chosen by the person that won. Okay. So that the you know it gives you an option. You can have whoever you want to narrate it. Um. So in my tie, it'll probably be me or AJ doing it for the quarterfinals. All right, that's good. Um, so uh, how about how about your next your next matchup? You're against uh, Jedi Mono eighty eight ninety five. 
Okay. I am against Jedi Mind of 895. I am against Jedi Mind of 895. It's like the the Every, guy. He's well, not. I'm not nervous. I think I got this. I think. I think you got this. Okay. Pretty confident in my abilities at OU. At the moment, I'm on a hot streak. Like, I laddered to 28 on the NU ladder yesterday. So, yeah. I'm on a hot streak. I feel. I feel really lucky at the moment. I feel like if we went and did it right now, there'd be no way he could beat me. Right. I mean, obviously we have to wait for the stream, and then it's going to be the last battle on the stream. <laughs> and because we're going to be hosting it together, it's going to be, you know, there'll be, yeah. it's going to be fun. Yeah. But he knows most of my main teams. Like yeah. He knows about three or four of my main teams. So I'm going to have to bring, I'm going to have to bring something. Him. Just, uh, he's going to make an anti-tom team, and you can pull an AJ and, you know, make a different team. I, I can, yeah, or, you know, I, I have someone that, I I didn't say that this, is, this isn't this is disallowed, but I do have someone that I am working on a team with right now. So, this guy's helping me build this team. And he's very, he's very good, this guy. And before anybody asks, no, it's not Eternal. Me and Eternal don't see eye to eye. So... Right. The guy that I'm working on the team with, we, 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 we basically have a not anti meta game team, but a meta game team that can devastate stuff. Well, um, let's let's hope your uh, your secret trump card pulls through. Nice talking to you as always, Tom, and best luck in the quarterfinals. And Thanks, man. We might see you again in the semifinals for you know another quick interview. Probably not as in depth as this one, but. <laughs> well, it will be more of a hype interview. Yeah. Anyway, sort of an update, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so uh, like I said, uh, thanks, thanks for thanks for tuning in, uh, Poker Fight Clubbers, and uh, more interviews to come. Uh, stay tuned and have a nice day. That's all. Rain, comment, sub, and uh, later. Rain, rain out. <laughs> <laughs>